the hero, when he goes extra mile to do what is not expected of him. I'm calling on CPO Dumosu. The little time you have to spend with us in Lagos State, dedicate this to fishing out the culprits. Yes. And the culprits we are looking for are the owners of the school, yes. the house master, the security guard who opened the gate for the students to go out. Yes. The parents of these children, the board of directors, regardless of who the owners of the school are, regardless of your position in the society, you have given us nothing but a wake-up call yes, to know now that justice can only be given if you all feel the pain that we feel this morning gathering here yes. to mourn the death of a young hero, ah. to mourn the death of an aspirant yes. pilot, to mourn the, the death of somebody who would have made his family proud mm. and we mothers proud mm. that the fruit of our labor mm. was not just cut short mm. because of the ignorance of our system. Yes. 2022, 2021, 2020 is not an era in 1980, 1981. Yes, so. Technology is speaking and technology has become our great evidence. It's so shameful that a school like this that ah. charges exorbitant fees will tell us that they don't have the capacity to monitor children. It's not a crime to put a child in a boarding school. Yes, sir. Parents go out to do their job. Parents have to feed their children. And it's not wrong. I went to a boarding school to put your child, pay for the service of your child and the security and the welfare of your child yes, sir. to an organization. Yes, sir. We are asking that the government should withdraw the license of this school. Immediately! 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 Immediately. Yes! Yes! Dorwen College has had a series of criminal records that have been swept under the rug. For years! And we will not take this. We will not take it anymore! The only thing that is keeping us cool is the belief we have that the Minister, uh, the Commissioner of Education, the Police Force, and the governor of Lagos State is going to do justice. Else, we would have burned down this school broad daylight. Right but we don't want to do that to show that we are agreed. We want to leave it open for them to be able to do whatever investigations that they have to do. Yes, this is also a wake-up call for we mothers. To learn to build confidence in our children and give our children environment terms and conditions where they can be open to us and tell us whatever thing. We cannot continue to lose our children. Enough of the killing. We sympathize with the families of the 16 to 17 children that have lost their lives yesterday. We are still mourning Sylvester and we heard of some children, eight children that were found dead in a vehicle along Badagri. Are there no police officers working in this state? Is the governor not working in this state? Are there no security agents to take care of our children? What will be the cause for a drunk to ram into 17 children and kill them all? We are still talking about the death of Sylvester and we are hearing the case of rape of a five-year-old child. Does it mean that the government does not understand what it is to protect the life of our immature souls. This is our first gathering and this is not going to be our last gathering. If after seven days they do not make this investigation public, visible, let's give them seven days. After seven days we will gather here again and we will not go home. We will sleep here until we begin to hear what we want to hear. Please keep this investigation open. The police should keep this investigation open. The governor should keep this investigation open. Every life matters. Every child matters. If you are a mother, you will know what it is to be a mother. I keep saying this. There is a difference between being a woman and there is a difference between being a mother. So please, Everybody in the society have to come together now to help us 
secure and preserve the lives of our children. All we are asking for is what? Justice, justice for Sylvester. All we are asking for is what? Justice. justice. Sylvester not alone. Every child that has been maltreated. We also want the government to start to pay attention to all schools. Every private school should be monitored by the government, not just leaving them to this responsibility because they do not allow parents to talk and act when necessary. All schools, private and public schools, all the money taxpayers fund should be used in building the standard of public schools. We went to public school, and in public schools, it's a government property. Camera should be in public and private schools. We are demanding for this. We are going to state our demands clear, just like we have stated it in this petition to the governor, to the commissioner of police, we have sent it to the commissioner of education, we have sent it to the commissioner of youth and development. And all these letters have been received by them. Yes, all these letters have been received by them, and we will do everything to follow up. We have stated our agenda clearly. And if any of these agendas is not met, then we will know the next line of action to take. But please, we plead with the government to please follow up on these letters that have been submitted and help us to do the needful. The life of our children matters to us. The money does not matter to us. The houses does not matter to us. The life of these children matters to us. And that is why justice was better. And we are also asking the first lady of the government to go and pay a courtesy visit to the families of our money. Yes. By now, Lagos is not far from worry. They should go and pay a courtesy visit for the Oro money family. Yes. If it was under proper um, system, Oro money shouldn't have taken his son all the way to worry. But because of the misinformation the school gave him, that was why he thought he was just beaten and took the child away. There are so many hospitals here. He, should have, he could have taken that boy, but they gave him a wrong information. So please, once again, we are grieved and then we pray that the spirit of Sylvester will continue to strengthen us. The spirit of Sylvester will continue to be with us. The spirit of Sylvester will continue to guide us until justice is served. That's what we say to everybody generally. It's a wake up call in every state. This is a wake up call everywhere in Nigeria. From the presidency to the local government chairman. Your core responsibility should be protection and setting up. In every school, we should have police officers. In every school, we should have traffic wardens. In every school, we should have one government office there so that they can also monitor the activities in this private school. If all of this are happening, it forms as a sign of check and balance for all of these schools. There should be laws against bullying, bullying in other schools. There should be laws against bullying. Thank you, thank you all. We should wake up to this. It's time for us to seek for justice. It might be your son tomorrow. Don't overlook this. Stand up. Speak up for somebody. You were here, you did here, I said, 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 I I I I want just your power to 
Father, rest his soul and give us justice. Rest his soul and give us justice. Rest his soul and give us justice. Father, use the government to give us justice. Use Lagos State government to give us justice. Use the police to give us justice. Use every investigative arm that is currently working on this case. Use them to give us justice. Amen. There will be no peace until we get justice. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There will be no peace until we get justice. Amen. So whoever is involved in this case yes. that is trying to do anything funny, yes. to sweep this case under the carpet. Yes. And when you open your door, you will see Sylvester. Amen. When you open the internet, you will see Sylvester. You will see Sylvester. When you are counting money, you will see Sylvester. Justice, Lord, we ask. Yes. Father, do this for us. Yes. Father, do this, do this for us. Yes. We have not come to fight. We have not come to war. We have not come to break law and order. We have come to cry for justice. Father, yes. hear our cry today. Hear yes. every parents here today. Hear yes. every uncles, aunties, brothers here today. Okay. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. children. Look at this month alone. The children that have died and we can't even, those are the ones that the people are speaking out. During my investigation, she said some children died, a child died here in August. Three children have died in this school this year. And parents are keeping quiet. Some of them are keeping quiet because the fear of not getting justice. The fear of being called bad parents. The government should please wake up. Let us all come together. Let us all come together to sit down and craft measures that will protect every school. Every school has no Please, we are telling the family with the video apps. How dare you have 
Parents will learn to speak out. Parents will learn to speak out. Because if, to speak out. if they had spoken out about the deaths that happened in August, August. Yeah. then you know this, this is would this have been avoided. Yes. Yes. Don't wait until the damage is done. No one no speak no out. One speak. Teach your children what? to also speak out. Never operate again in life. Teach your children to also speak out. I'm surprised. Where are the parents of the? Where are the parents of the district? I don't know. I don't where are they? I don't, I don't are you guys hiding something from us? I don't know. Is there anything we can do? One voice, one house, please. Somebody is talking, please. Thank you all for your support. This is really, this is traumatizing. Man. I've been on this case. Really sad that he died and he would have not died the school would have saved him they told the according to the appearance report he should have just said oh you said the boy is a little bit better so how did he die if someone was a little bit better why did he die there are hospitals around you lied you lied there are lots of things the house mothers the house fathers that meant to protect this boy and for those parents that are hiding their children they will come back to us just so you know. Thank you. Let's All we want is justice, justice for Sylvester, and she's going, we're going to get this justice. We are going to get this Because if we sweep this under the carpet, what we should be there and everything, we keep on going, we're going to become a sack. So all we want is justice. Thank you. Can we all render a minute silence, please? soul of the departed ones, to our beloved children who have lost their lives. May you all continue to rest in peace. And we want to assure you that as mothers that we are, we will not keep quiet wherever you are in this country, whether you have spoken or you have not spoken. To those of you who have come out to say something, we really thank you. To everybody here who has come out to support us, we really thank you. No one is going to fix it for us if we cannot fix it by ourselves. Yes, yes, yes. This is a wake-up call for every one of us. So please, let us all go back to our respective homes. And let's be hopeful that justice will be said. And please, anywhere you are, if you see anything, whether that person is your child or not, please lend a voice. Enough of our child molestation. Enough of child rape. Enough of child assault. Enough of mental bullying. A lot of children in boarding schools, when they want to tell their parents things, their housemasters and their housemasters will be looking at them. The fear will not allow them to say something. They don't give their, their children privacy to talk to us. They stand right in front of them. Even when these children get home, how many days do they spend with us? They spend 80% of their lives in school. Whether they are boarding students or they are day students. They come home at about 3, 4, you are not there. You are still at work. You come home at about 9, 10, they've gone to bed. So please, every mother out there, don't feel bad. Mm -hmm. Don't feel like you are not doing it right. Whether your child is a boarder or your child is a day student, don't feel wrong. Just believe that this is the society where we find ourselves and we will mend it by ourselves. Yes. If you have any suggestions for the government, please put it in writing and submit. We only submitted this letter barely 72 hours, just yesterday, day for yesterday. The commissioner of police sent his people here. The governor, the governor came to address us. Everything that is in this book is going to be given to us. For follow-up, please ask, we'll send a copy to you. Everything that we are talking about here has been stated here. And we have also set up people that will continue to go to their office. The commissioner of police who are going to go to his office and paste all this obituary in his office. Yes, the commissioner of education will have to expect to hear from you. We are going to go to their offices and paste all these posters here. Oral money's poster is going to be all over Lagos State. Until justice is served, open investigation, open report. Please, I have called you and you have honored me by coming here. We will still come until we get justice.
I really want to to came to the reason why we're here today. I, sorry, I'm not in black. I was on my morning walk and then I remember, so I just came. I walked down. So please forgive me for not being in black. But as a mother, a single mother, a mother, a mother of a son, a mother of a daughter, I feel that. Hello, Daddy. I'll call you back. And every time I go to speak up, you are leaving the company from your car. You can all speak up. Daddy, people, I will come to worry you. Bullying going on. Except our sympathy. My please. son was bullied. Don't be strong for us. It wasn't in the body. We will use everything in our power. Make us believe it. We will not agree. That happened to you. And everything that you want, just send it to me. Any amount you want. If you want us to burn down this school, send it to me. Some children have died. Where are the children? 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 Where are this will be the end of all this. That's what I'm saying. The mothers and the fathers. Because the mothers and the fathers also should be here. Of the students, it takes two people to give birth to a child. And I say that both mother and father have the parents of this school. Should be here. They 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 should be here. We want to know that our children, when they step us from where we are, they are safe. We cannot be at home and be at home. They, sorry, ma'am. They should stop that online school. They should stop it. They are doing online school. They should stop it online school. They are doing online school. The child, they are doing online school. What are you doing online school? They are killing somebody's child. Trust me, one of them. We can't do that. 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 We can't do that.